Now, if you like the tech, then take it. This is the scenario that resonated at the 41st edition of G-Tech held at the World Trade Center in Dubai. Correspondent Joseph Johnson described the event as a tech hive of activities as over 200 startups and innovators redefined the latest trends and showcased innovations from across the world. In this report, he shares with us the technologies startups from Nigeria displayed at the show. Every stand you see in this building has something unique to offer, particularly to solve a certain problem. From AI to 5G, quantum computing, immersive marketing, fintech, blockchain, cybersecurity, the list seems inexhaustible. The Nigerian startups also came bearing solutions to some problems with their innovative products as very engaged stakeholders in the prospects and what their technologies portend for the nearest future. Um, farmers in Africa are faced with the problem of financial exclusion. So we created AgriCoin to solve that um, problem by partnering with the major stakeholders within the agricultural value chain. Basically, uh, Bridging Space um, seeks to provide uh, online mental health services we know that right now in Nigeria, one in four Nigerians are suffering from this out of. So, Bridging Space seeks to provide access to support and counseling services. Uh, my product is Chopwalk Marketplace. Chop, at Chopwalk, we're trying to solve two major problems. The first problem is unemployment. Alal Invest is a digital platform to assess ethical financial products and services. Pearl is uh, a transportation app whereby we've been able to, we're able to solve the problem of one chance, as it's properly called in Nigeria. So EduVR is a virtual reality solution for education that allows students to visualize what they're being taught in the classroom. Changing the knowledge. As they share ideas, learn and unlearn, the hope expressed here is that technology should be driven in such a way that it makes the world so much a better place. From the World Trade Center in Dubai, Joseph Johnson, NTN News.